Hi there, Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your March 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. I do apologize for the late uploads for my March readings. Um, um, it has been really hectic and I've been be feeling really sick recently, so I do apologize for that. Anyway, um... Without any further ado, let's just dive into the reading to see what are the energies and influences that might be transpiring for us for the month of March and how is this going to be affecting you personally and in terms of your love life and relationship as well. So please do know that, you know, um, this is going to be a general reading, so it may or may not tune in for each and every Virgo people out there. So just keep that in mind as we go along. So for this reading for this month, I am using my um light sears tarot deck it's actually one of my most favorite tarot recently because of the artwork and stuff so i'm laying it out like this for you guys um i'm going to start off with the astrological alignment that could be influencing you for this month and we have the planet of pluto which is all about um intensity transformation and changes um when I'm focusing with this um, energy right now, it gives me a feeling where in action is probably action, energy, and um, your urges to make your desires happen and accomplish is going to be something that you are probably going to be in focus right now. Or um, that is probably the situation where it, there's also some form of stress. So now when Pluto is in the mix of things, there's always lessons that we need to experience and encounter at the same time. So um, yeah, uh, let's just first take a look on the cards that we have over here. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Justice card. This is the Five of Swords. And then the Ten of Cups. Hierophant, Five of Cups, Two of Swords three of pentacles and the two of pentacles now the way i'm picking up with this reading is that there could be a situation right now that is going to be a struggle for you to actually work um work to work and harmonize something so i kind of feel that you know whenever we have the six of pentacles here there's always something that we are fixing there's always something that we are trying to manage we're trying to it's like um it's like a puzzle pieces you know there's something that we are trying to complete there's something that we want to accomplish however with the five of wands over here it makes me feel that there could be some form of struggle so um this could be a situation where in uh, there could be communications in your life or in you know you're not clearly understanding one another this could be with a group of people or this could be with a partner uh, a one -on one relationship that sort of situation um this is also a situation wherein you know um there could be some form of contracts conversations that you know um you thought that was clear in the past and then you come to realize that okay um i don't think we were aligned you know uh, this is not the way how i i have understood things and you know i kind of feel that a lot of you guys are um, well many of virgo people are having that energy wherein you're trying to to make something work out to trying to understand things and put things together um so this is like a situation wherein for example you are trying to build a company or trying to work something uh, a business venture or something like that and you are having some form of difficulties with your suppliers because the prices suddenly change and that is not something that is within the contract or this could also be a situation wherein um, there's some form of work venture that you need to do and uh, some form of mishaps are surrounding that and you're trying to you know work through things to to make it all better or you know finalize certain things this can also be a situation we're in um in terms of a one-on-one -on -one relationships this could be an element we're in you're trying to you're trying to narrow you're trying to understand where you really stand when it comes to a relationship setup in in your life 
um, this could also be a situation wherein you feel that there is something that must be put into the right place at the right time. This is about you organizing, reorganizing things in your life, especially with how you talk to people, how you communicate with people, and with your contracts and the relationships that you you are in. I kind of feel that for many of you, this is uh, really a time we're in. Either you are setting rules, setting some form of boundaries in terms of relationships. Um, you know, it's like you're, you're con- making conversations with people and with particular people on, in your life or in okay you need to do this i need to do that this is something that i have to do this is something that you have to do and for us to really work things out we need to both do our parts so uh, it's really more of you know um having all those kinds of conversations of course this is going to be very different and you will have to use your own intuition on how this can actually apply and play out in your life and with your relationships um with the five of swords over here you know there could be a situation that has given you some form of stress and this is what we are picking up you know there is something that is quite wrong in the in the relationship situation um or you know there could be some form of mishaps wherein it does not allow things to be very easy um things that we are going to be engaging with during this time is something that we need to work hard on there is some form of effort that we need to do we really need to think hard and for most cases there could be some form of frustration and some form of situations in our life we're in uh, it makes us feel angry not really angry but it's quite annoying you know why is it so hard to do this you know you will end up thinking like that one way or another and we also have here the ten of cups and this is really more about you really focusing on your highest ideals what you really want to happen your hopes wishes and dreams into the situation um this could be a situation wherein you're working on something that can really make you happy you are going to be pursuing things that is within your goals you know it is something that you aspire to have you you aspire to achieve all those kinds of things whether it is a career endeavor whether it is a personal situation or love life you know a love partner you know um, if this is a love situation, this is a situation wherein, you know, you are emotionally invested in something and you wanted to make it all right. You wanted probably a partner, you wanted a relationship that is um, more stable and secure and maybe there is some form of struggle in that and you're having a hard time in coping things, you know, and it makes you feel that this is something that I really, really want, but why is it so hard to get it? So there are those kinds of thoughts thought pattern and energies that might be surrounding you dr- during this time and uh, of course this is going to be a time of lessons for many of you Virgos. we do have here the hierophant which is you know a lot of teachings a lot of experience there's going to be a lot of things that um, you are going to experience during this time and uh, I kind of feel that, you know, there is going to be a lot of lessons that comes with it. When it comes to the Hierophant card, I kind of feel that this is going to be a situation wherein the things that you have been postponing and procrastinating in the past is something that you have to work on during this time, you know. So it, it might be a very busy month for a lot of Virgo people out there because you know, I need to do this, I need to do that, you know, I have, I've been neglecting one area of my life, so I've, I'm now going to be busy in working in that venture, so it it has that form of element here, so, um, however, like I said earlier, it is coming in with a form of frustration, because we do have here the five of cups and the two of swords, making us feel that, okay, is this the right thing to do? It's like, it makes me feel a situation wherein I I know I needed to do something, but it's hard for me to take action. Maybe there is a situation in your life that is preventing you to make progress into your own situation. Like, you know in your head what it is that you need to do, what it is that you need to take action on, However, at the same time, things are just not working out in the way that you wanted to. There are a lot of delays that are coming into the picture of things. 
and it is making you think about certain things it's making you contemplate and am i doing the right thing what is the the right path for me you know there's a lot of hiccups that you might be experiencing during this time and uh, it does it is not meant for you to stumble and fall down this is not meant to delay you completely but this is really just you know um preparing you i kind of feel you know um preparing you um to be more ready to what it is to come for you in the future um this is also going to be a situation wherein you will need to make a lot of negotiations a lot of conversations with people a lot of working things out um yes you are going to be experiencing a lot of you know um i would say um contemplating moments in your life but it is not meant for you to just contemplate it is meant for you to work it out with the other person because you will also come to realize that you will not be able to solve anything by yourself without actually um connecting with another person or with a group of people so you will need to um one way or another work things out and do you know that yes it can be hard work to to whatever it is that you're focusing right now it's not going to be easy there's a lot of hard work and your patience is going to be tested but do you know that everything is going to be paid off in the end you know um this is like um uh, you're working on a long term venture and there's going to be wonderful re rewards given to you at the end of the day as well i kind of feel that this is also a situation where in um if things there are if there are things that are stopping you right now from progressing in life whether it what whether it it is in terms of relationship or career endeavor this is actually a point where in um you should see this as a moment of um that the universe is giving you a hold a nudge or something like that you know it's like it's asking you okay are you sure that this is the right thing that you want to happen in your life you know it's like giving you another another um series of question um for you to be more assured of what you really want it's like um it's like it's like you know when we when we try to withdraw money from an atm account you know it is it us it it is always double checking on to us do you want to withdraw five thousand dollars um are you sure do you confirm this so you have to see it in this kind of manner that the universe is um reconfirming what it is that we are pursuing so and it is something that we should not ignore because we need to think clearly before we actually take action during this time and i kind of feel that this is really more of the emphasis that what the energy is trying to show you um there there is going to be something that we need to balance out that we need to manage and it could be something to do with our work you know um i kind of feel that for many of, of virgo people out there this is going to be um having the need to balance your own feelings um with how you are personally for yourself and how it is that you project it with other people you know so is the give and take of the relationship balance or not or are you giving too much or are you taking too much um are you really understanding the other person or are you just being so dramatic all the time that you you don't really listen to the other person involved as well so there is a need to balance something in the into the relationship and if there is something that was not cleared out before you know uh, some form of misunderstandings any loose ends this is going to be the month for and you need to work on that um any form of delays um could be something that you are going to be focusing on working out during this time um so yeah there's going to be a lot of learnings and a lot of discovery and really more about um i kind of feel that for a lot of you this is really not a time for engaging on new things but this is really more on solidifying 
the things that is presently in your in your life with the things that you recently have started with the project that you have recently worked on there is a lot of things in your present moment that you need to focus on right now before you can actually focus on what you want to bring into your life before you can actually focus on the future of what you want to happen you first need to work on the loose ends of um, your past situations and you know contracts that you had in the past you need to finish them off first before you can venture to another another path and another lane in your life basically and this is going to be the lessons that we need to deal with during this time so um yeah this is it my for my reading for you guys virgo people out there i do hope that one way or another this has given you insight and clarity to your situation please do let me know how this works out for you and if it actually manifests for you for the month i will be interested to know that um so if you do want a more personal reading specifically done for you and for your own situation you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com and i shall see you guys again next month goodbye